Okay, here is uh, a scenario that is actually increasingly common and a real endoscopic challenge. So this is a patient who has had a Rouen Y gastric bypass as part of a bariatric uh, procedure and they've got a stone in their bile duct. Okay, we're, we're going to ignore the fact as to whether they have or haven't had their gallbladder removed, but the question is, how do you get rid of this stone? So the first thing to say is you cannot perform a conventional ERCP. In a Rouen Y gastric bypass, the upper stomach uh, has been uh, uh, disconnected, so there is no anti-grade uh, uh, route uh, down to the duodenum. So what are the options? Okay, so one is uh, a, an enteroscopy approach. So this is a uh, using a double balloon enteroscope. Uh, this is similar to what you might use if the patients had a total gastrectomy all around the houses. Um, and then uh, an ERCP is then performed from a caudal position as you would do for a Bill Roth II. The challenge of this is that it can often be extremely difficult to get round uh, a very long uh, uh, um, uh, small bowel limb and then up and around the afferent loop. To date, the, um, uh, the length and the working channel of uh, most uh, small bowel enteroscopes, the double balloon enteroscopes, are not ideal to allow us to do everything we might want to do uh, at a subsequent ERCP but that definitely uh, is an option. Another option is what we call a laparoscopic ERCP. So for this we work with our laparoscopic surgeons who bring the remnant stomach um, up onto the abdominal wall as part of a laparoscopic uh, procedure. Um, they insert usually a, uh, uh, a 15 to, to 18 uh, millimeter diameter um, gastrotomy port uh, secured with purse strings and then the duodenoscope is inserted through this through the anterior abdominal wall into the stomach and one then performs essentially a conventional uh, ERCP. Uh, clearly one of the uh, challenges of this procedure is uh, that um, just as is the case for the DBE Postoperatively, there may be adhesions, there may sometimes be challenges for the surgeon to bring the stomach uh, up and form that gastrotomy. But the ERCP otherwise uh, should be an essentially conventional procedure. Uh, that port is removed at the end of the procedure, and so uh, a, a slight disadvantage of this is that you can't readily leave a stent uh, in place because when you go back, you'll have to repeat. Uh, the whole process again. So that's the second option. Uh, the third option uh, that uh, one might consider um, is a percutaneous approach. Um, if this patient has biliary obstruction and a dilated biliary tree, uh, one may in fact uh, uh, elect to go for a percutaneous transhepatic approach. Uh, and from there, and we have a video demonstrating this, uh, one can then use under direct vision uh, um, direct cholangioscopy uh, and fragment the stone and then part and push those uh, fragments through. So that is a uh, uh, transhepatic cholangioscopy. The fourth option um, uh, is so called edge. Now, this is a recently developed uh, technique. Um, in which uh, the, the remnant stomach is punctured uh, using an endoscopic ultrasound scope from uh, the, 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 the proximal part of the stomach that may be left in place here or the small bowel loop um, and um, the, the, the stomach is accessed and then a lumen opposing metal stent um, uh, such as uh, hot axios uh, is inserted. This is a removable metal stent that forms a, 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 a 15 or 20 millimeter fistula, millimeter fistula uh, between the, the small bowel and the, uh, the remnant stomach. And from there, a conventional ERCP, so to speak, 
uh, can be performed in which the, uh, the duodenoscope is passed through the lumen opposing metal stent and then a conventional uh, ERCP is performed. Um, so in summary this is an increasingly common clinical scenario and a real challenge. There are four options. We actually don't know uh, which is the absolute best approach. All of these patients need to be discussed in the specialist uh, uh, centre and I think over the next few years we're going to get increasing a, amount of information uh, as to whether we should uh, at the outset go for uh, a balloon assisted uh, a balloon enteroscopy uh, ERCP, a laparoscopic ERCP, a percutaneous transhepatic approach or EDGE EUS guided uh, ERCP.